Hello dear Cancer and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. This is your tarot reading for the Venus retrograde season which began mid-May and will end roughly end of June. Venus though will be traveling through the sign of Gemini up until early August and this is of course anything to do with communication. You know, people coming back from the past um, interactions in relation to what is Venus? Venus is love, money, self-worth, values, harmony. So let's see what's going on. And I'm doing a relationship cross for you. So this is mainly focusing on love. For those of you that want to know for your own personal sign how in which area of life you're affected, astrologically speaking, I do have the link in the description box below. So you can check that out, dear Cancer. Let's have a look. So the relationship cross. In the distant past, we've got the Ace of Swords, which can speak of clarity. It can also speak of a successful new beginning but this relationship began maybe even with through conversations okay the sword is all about intellect logic so this what is you know the root of this relationship is the communication maybe even the truth let's have a look at the now and we've got Capricorn here so Capricorn is all about restrictions we know that it is Saturnian so Capricorn, Capricorn can also provide you with something that's very long-lasting, but it's also something that it could be very karmic or something that is taking its time. Now, let's have a look at the area you're, you know, you were coming from. So, how you showed up in this relationship? Who were you? The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Another Ace. So a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Um, dear Cancer, you felt very inspired, but also very strong. You wanted to start something, obviously. This gave you um, a sense of new life. Let's have a look at where they were coming from. And they were coming from the Ten of Cups, so they were over the moon with this, um, you know, open very open emotionally to this relationship. Let's have a look at what the future shows. And we've got the Magician. And the Magician is another Ace. We've got one, two, three Aces. I feel as though, and we've got the Queen of Wands here. And the Queen of Wands is Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. We've also got um, cups here which this is the position of them so could be another cancer scorpio pisces we've got a fair bit of air here we've got air earth fire and water we've got all the elements here now capricorn is your seventh house of relationships so i'm going to say that there is some sort of a restriction here right now but this is also something that can prove long lasting for you dear cancer now the thing is that um, this is asking for hard work it's long term okay it's physical it's tangible it's also um, maybe very restrictive where you've had to jump through hoops this is what you're going through right now so queen of wands we know is someone that is very desirable someone that will aim for you know, it's someone that will go for what they want, okay, what they love, what they uh, desire, what they um, want to bring into their own lives. What's beneath that? And we've got the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, which is usually my Taurus card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, nevertheless, we know that Earth is very slow moving so I would say you know the king of pentacles could be a father and I feel as though that's your energy whereas 
you are showing up as the Queen of Wands. I feel as though some of you may have been dealing with someone that was quite slow moving, okay, and someone who maybe had already come from a past relationship, I'm going to say, because we've got the Ten of Cups and, I, you know, this is the mother with the children. This, you may have been dealing with someone that was a father, okay, but and someone that needed stability, but maybe this was someone that you were dealing with that did not want to commit. They were not ready for commitment as they may have been dealing with a karmic past situation as well. But having the magician here at the crowning area in the near future, that's a very positive card saying that there will be communication. For those of you that had been caught up in whatever restrictions, as we know, you know, the devil card can also be fears. Someone in this relationship, no doubt, and I feel it was your partner, may have been dealing with a lot of restrictions, maybe a lot of heaviness in their life. And again, you know, the house opposite our sign can be a karmic partner. Let's have a look at the romance angels for you, dear Cancer. And we've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So yes, this is worth working towards. This is worth um, building on, okay? And I'm going to say that, what's at the bottom? And we've got children. Your love life is being affected by children. And if you notice in the Botticelli tarot, the devil is a child. So we have got the mother and the children here. So some of you could be dealing with someone that's come from a past relationship. For you, I don't think so. So King of Pentacles is someone that can be very stable, but also someone that is very slow moving. Okay, so this could also be someone that is going through monetary issues. They could be needing to, you know, be, stand in their integrity, take care of, whatever they've created up to now and even though you brought a lot of happiness to them they may have been closing the door on the past but I do feel as though there is a very strong attraction here no doubt let's have a look at the Lenormand now some of you have got strong fire in your chart I do feel you are the queen of wands Let's have a look, dear Cancer. So Venus retrograde. We've got the papers, the letter, the contracts. Okay, this is red tape. It could mean anything legal, but it can also speak of communication. We've got the clouds and then the sun, which can mean communication. So, yeah, I feel as though... You, I feel as though your partner has been coming out of some sort of an obligation, a family connection, maybe even anything to do with children. Yes, I feel as though now with the sun showing up here and the birds, and there are the birds again. So some of you may have already um, known that some, this person is going through all of this. I'm going to say with this, um, the difficulties and the lockdown could also mean that the restrictions where movement is concerned may have been in, in your situation as well as, you know, the birds, the birds are messengers and we did have the clouds here. So maybe you were lacking in communication for whatever reason the heavy Saturnian karmic card here. This is saying that obviously I would say that either you, I feel it's your partner though, they've been dealing with a lot. And we do have the, the magician here, which is Mercury and the communication is coming through. So there is a chance to manifest this soulmate connection. Okay, if there has been no communication here because of past difficulties, and the heaviness with the clouds, the sun is coming through and the messengers are coming through. The messages as well as, and we know the birds, 
the birds being a number 12 can speak of you know the hanging man so someone was hung up in some sort of a situation and we know the birds can also speak of anxiety a lot of nervousness okay so let's take more cards let's have a look so let's look at the distant past with the ace of swords which can also mean someone is severing ties with their past and we've got two cards we have the Eight of Cups and the High Priestess. So this may have been a secretive relationship, one that someone was planning. If your partner was in a commitment, they obviously emotionally had checked out in the distant past. And this may have been also a spiritual, strong spiritual connection between the two of you. But to make it physical, tangible and real, to bring it into reality, I feel there was an understanding that this was a soulmate connection. And don't forget the north and south nodes were moving through um, your house, Cancer and Capricorn. So the past 18 months has been very, very changing for both Cancer and Capricorn. Let's have a look at you. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Another Ace. So you wanted a commitment okay and pentacles again could be very slow moving you wanted security in this relationship you wanted marriage let's have a look at the other person and we have the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is my virgo card so maybe they've got your partner has got strong virgo in their chart very slow moving of course yeah, and the commitment is coming very slowly, everyone. So you're coming from the Ace of Pentacles. This is what you want. And they're coming they're coming in very slowly. They're planning something committed, something long-term with you. Let's take that Queen of Wands, which is the general energy. And we've got the Six of Swords, which means leaving the past troubles in the past and this could also be moving to a point where things will be much calmer much more serene more harmonized but also this could mean yes someone who could be at a distance obviously maybe at a physical distance here okay as i said with a lockdown before very saturnian heavy energies that you're still working through in the near future we've got the magician which is that ace up your sleeve as above so below there will be manifestation but also communication no doubt and magic okay let's now take the handwritten cards let's have a look and see what your soulmate wants to communicate to you or how they're feeling let's have a look We have, I will climb any mountain, I will swim any river to be with you, come to me. And they are asking for you to come to them. So with the Capricorn, the devil energy here, we know that this is that mountain goat that will climb, that is willing and is able to climb any mountain. So they're willing to do the work, okay? They will become the elder wiser, okay? And they will fight for this connection. So that's beautiful, dear Cancer. That is beautiful. I don't need a second card. That is one message which says it all. All right, I want to thank you so much for your support, for being here, for liking, sharing, subscribing, sending you much love and many blessings. Ta-da.